Let's talk about the stuff that I bought from the store instead of planting my own. several times. I got it as just a little bitty cup from like the produce section and it is doing so well. I'm so excited. I believe like when you buy them they say they're like disposable plants. That's not true you guys. Plant those things. <laughs> if you keep them in the little bitty containers they come in, which this was in this little guy, then yes they are disposable because they're going to kill themselves out as the roots just overtake this little cup. Put them in some soil, give them some water, some sunshine, a little DLC, and they will keep producing for you. The best part, I think he was only three bucks. What a steal. So, that is one thing, is my rosemary. <laughs> Set him back over here so we have a little bit more room. In line with that, I just bought mint this week, also for my produce section. So, this is about what the rosemary looks like when I got it. There was a fair amount of dead leaves down in here. I pulled them out through my little compost bucket. Um, and then I started watering him from the bottom. It's a little bit less traumatic right from the beginning. If you just set them in a dish of water so they can kind of soak it up instead of just drenching them. I'm going to go ahead and replant him into one of these ones that has the self-watering base, which is what I did for the rosemary. And then eventually he will get his own pot as well. So that is just peppermint. Um, we can talk about this guy, get him out of the way. <laughs> this is raspberries. I'm so excited for these. I We've talked about it. I think we're going to go ahead and do this in a large container for now because this is not our forever home. And I want to take my raspberries when we leave. So I feel like as long as I just put it in that, we should be fine. And then when we get wherever it is that we go, we can take it out and put it in the ground. So super excited for that. It says harvest in summer. I don't think it's going to be this summer. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe he will surprise me. And then I got some Brussels sprout. Um, it's a little six pack. I got these at Lowe's. I believe they were $3.99. So yeah. And then I just repurposed one of the tops for my greenhouse things that I got at the dollar store. Video below. Um, but the tomato seeds have sprouted so tall that this was no longer doing them any good. So I had it just sitting around. So I repurposed it into a drip tray for this guy. And I will 100% be hanging on to this little seedling cell starter base, whatever you want to call it, to use next year. Make sure that anything that you're buying at the store that you're hanging on to as much as possible to go ahead and reuse. Just like I saved this guy from the rosemary so that I can use it again for seedlings in the future. And then these two nothing crazy lemon balm which i don't even know if i've seen seeds for lemon balm but i know my grandma used to grow lemon balm and we would put it in our ice cream which is kind of weird but so delicious so i really wanted some of that i also i have big aspirations to grow and make my own tea so this is going to come in handy for that and then strawberries which i do have some strawberry seeds started but i don't know how well that's going to go and that was it. I don't have like a packet of seeds or anything. I The one little paper kit thing, again, in the Dollar Tree video linked below, is all I had for strawberries. So I wanted to get just an additional plant. And then I'm hoping I can put these in the sides of my tomato planters and just let them kind of do that. And then also, again, we can take them with us when we go. So that's what I got. These two guys were both, um, or actually all three of these, we're $3.98 each. This guy was 10 bucks, so really hoping he does well. The mint was like $3, just like the rosemary at the grocery store. I've also, in the fridge, I don't want to ever take them out for a video because I don't want them in and out, in and out, in and out. I've got two varieties of seed potato, some rhubarb, onions, seed, seed onions, and um, seed garlic. So I do have those as well, and I think they were anywhere from like $3 a bag to $5 a bag, and yeah, I'm excited to see how they do as well. So once we get ready to put all of these seeds
seed veggies in the ground, those will make an appearance out of the fridge. But until then, I'm just letting them do their thing. They're in the dark drawer in the bottom in the fridge that we don't use much. So they're completely undisturbed. It was the only way that I felt okay buying them weeks before we were putting them in the ground. So there you have it. What kind of stuff do you guys opt to buy instead of planting around? Um, I'm not totally sure, but I might also go back and get some broccoli. Our Lowe's had broccoli on sale. I believe it was four containers for 10 bucks, which sounds like a pretty good deal to me for not having to plant it and do all that. And then we're also like, we're set up here for seedlings. So even though these guys can't go in the ground yet, I can get them. They can sit under our lights, get the misting, everything else that we're already doing. So we're set up to have these guys already. And I feel like that's working to our advantage a little bit because a fair amount of people, not everybody by any circumstance, who buy the pre-started veggies are relying on that. So they have to wait until the ground is ready to put them out. And for us, that's the end of April. This is the, um, the first or the last frost. First frost is October. But so I feel like that's working to our advantage just a little bit that we've already got a setup ready where we can grab them while we see them and put them away. And that way we've kind of got like pick of the litter on these things too. I went through all of the Brussels sprouts on the whole tray or whatever the display and found the best one I could. And this one has still been chewed by something, potentially bunnies, I don't know. And it still had some yellowed leaves, but I plucked those off. And then these guys are just beautiful. This is exactly how it came. I brought them home again, put them in little something for a drip tray, watered them from the bottom and they perked right up. So I'm super excited for this. We got more. <laughs> Yesterday we were out running errands and I decided, what the heck, we're just going to buy a couple more veggie sets of stuff that we haven't planted, don't have seeds for, things like that. So this one is the only exception, I believe, is romaine lettuce. And that's because my philosophy was I was going to just plant it every week, which today I need to go ahead and plant some for this week. And then all summer we would have fresh lettuce, but we don't have any that's this far produced. So I figured, what the heck, let's, let's just grab it. So those guys are pretty much ready. This is celery. I have not been able to find celery seeds. And that one was kind of funny because it was actually a tractor supply. And Ronnie was like, why don't we just get seeds? And I was like, sure, yeah, let's go inside. And if we see celery seeds, we'll just buy the seeds. If not, can we please get these? So we did not find the seeds. And then this is cabbage. We got one broccoli. And then these guys... I want to see our collard greens. Yep. So we'll have those, which would be super nice. And then this, actually, this whole tray is actually just fun stuff I found, which I didn't even realize it was all in the same tray, but purple bell peppers? What, what? This pineapple sage that, I mean, it could be sage, but it looks also a lot like basil. It's not quite as smooth as basil. And then purple basil, which I had never seen. So I'm kind of excited to be able to do some recipes with purple peppers and purple basil, because why not? So, anyway, I believe this is going to be it for us. I don't anticipate us buying more, um, like, sets, because we just don't have the space right now. Potentially, I suppose, after we've already started the garden, if we see a need, we could fill it that way. But as far as prepping our garden, using these, this is going to be it. So... Just these guys, and then those ones that I've already mentioned. Let us know what you're choosing to buy versus grow yourself. Give us a subscribe to stay up to date on our gardening journey, and we will see you next time.